Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will learn how to add leads from 99 acres to Google Sheets. So the objective here is whenever a new lead is received through 99 acres, then by using the same lead details, I wish to add those details automatically to my Google spreadsheet. So to do that, I need to build an integration between these two applications. So for that, I will be using Pabli Connect where my trigger application will be 99 acres and my action application will be Google Sheets. So to learn how I set up the integration between these two, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn that how you can add leads from 99 acres to Google Sheets. So here my objective is that every time a new lead is received through 99 acres, then automatically the details of that lead should be added in my spreadsheet as a new row. Now to do this, I have to integrate these two applications and to do that, I will sign in to my Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will simply sign in. Now this is the all applications page by Pabli. I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name and I have named it as add leads from 99 acres to Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders I have created before. So I want to create this workflow in the folder named as 99 acres. And now I will simply click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So basically action is the response of your trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action. So as my objective is to add leads from 99 acres to Google Sheets. So here in my trigger window, I will be selecting my trigger application as 99 acres and I will search over here and here it is. After selecting the trigger application, I need to select the trigger event that will be new leads. This trigger will start working whenever a new lead will be captured. So I'm selecting the trigger event. And here you can see a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So to automate lead capture, we have to copy above webhook URL and configure it in the 99 acre account that you have. So you have to reach out to your account manager from 99 acre. Now why you have to do this? Because 99 acres portal doesn't have the provision to add the webhook URL on the user interface of their application. So that is why you are supposed to reach out to your account manager from 99 acres. So you need to send this webhook URL to your 99 acres point of contact or the backend team. Once you have done that, then you are supposed to capture the webhook response. And here you can see that we have received the response. So now here you can see that I've received the mobile number, last name, first name, email, location and the area. So moving further, my objective is to add the leads from 99 acres to Google Sheets. So to do that, I will simply scroll down and I will click on this action window of mine. And over here, I will search for Google Sheets. And here it is. Now moving on to my action event, that will be to add a new row. So after selecting my action application and action event, I need to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I will simply click on connect. And here, if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with Google. And over here, you need to allow the access as this is a secure connection. So I will simply click on allow. And here the authorization was successful. You can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now over here, I need to select my spreadsheet. Over here, I've already created a spreadsheet by the name of 99 acres leads. So I will go back to Pabli Connect and from this drop down, I will select my spreadsheet. And after selecting my spreadsheet over here, you can see that the selected sheet is sheet one. So in my spreadsheet, I only have one sheet. So over here, it has selected that. 
moving to these details of first name last name email address contact number location and area so to enter the information i am going to use a method which is known as mapping so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step as i will click on this here you can see that the previous step response that is from 99 acres new lead so i will click here and i will map the first name that goes as demo now moving further i will map the last name from the response received that was user moving to email address again i will map it from the response received and i have mapped it moving with contact number again from the response i have mapped the contact number and moving to location here is the location as bhopal i have mapped it and i have mapped the area as well now this method of mapping is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time new information will be gathered here by replacing this old information if i would have written this information manually in that case even when my workflow was running in real time it wouldn't have taken the same data so to avoid that we map the information over here in these fields so now moving further i will simply click on save and send test request to see the response and here you can see that i have received the response and it is a positive response now i will take you to my google spreadsheet to show you that this lead information is successfully added over there so here you can see that the first name last name email address contact number location and area so the details of that new lead is successfully added over here you can see the first name is demo last name is user along with the email address and a dummy contact number location and area so that means this integration between 99 acres and google sheets was a successful one so now whenever a new lead will be received in 99 acres then automatically the information of that lead will be added in google sheets so this integration and automation was a successful one not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel